project grad release forms are ready to be signed. We'll have the details ahead. Also in the broadcast, we'll have coverage on Kelsey Robertson's signing ceremony from last week. All this and more coming up on KFOI Daily News. Good morning, Fort Osage High School. I'm Michaela Zimmer. And I'm Charlotte Rowland. Today is Wednesday, March 5th, 2014, and here are today's news and announcements. Project Grad is around the corner and the release forms are now available for signing. Both seniors and their guests must have parent or guardian present to sign the Project Grad release forms on the following dates at the high school. March 24th from 5 to 7 p.m., April 1st from 5 to 7 p.m., April 9th from 5 to 7 p.m. and the absolute final day is April 17th from 5 to 7 p.m. It was breakfast time in Mr. Tholen's fifth hour culinary arts class. Students got the opportunity to cook omelets during a period last week. Each individual made their own omelet and added ingredients to their liking. Students could pick from green peppers, mushrooms, cheese, onions, or olives. They even got to enjoy the fruits of their labor by eating what they made. <laughs> and in Ms. Patterson's application to biochemistry's class, students worked on creating posters over cellular respiration and photosynthesis. The project helped them to observe and learn how cells take in carbon dioxide and water to produce glucose and give off oxygen in the photosynthesis, photosynthesis process. The deadline to register for the April 12th ACT test date is this Friday. If you have not signed up to take the test, for the first time, or if you are looking to improve your score, this is your opportunity to register. Visit www.actstudent.org forward slash start and enter the Fort Osage code 261-507. Then enter the Fort Osage Test Center code 223-530. The next test date after April 12th is June 14th. Now here's today's sports report. Kelsey Robertson signed her letter of intent last Friday. She will run cross country and track for Webster University and Webster Groves, Missouri next year. Kelsey was joined by her mom and coaches as well as other family members as she signed to play for the Gorlocks. She shared with KFOY's Cassidy Bishop what she expects to do with the team next year. Um, I hope I do very well and I make a good impact and make friends with the other girls. Kelsey was a team leader all four years and she ran for the Indians. Congratulations, Kelsey. Track practice has started, but it's not too late to join. Here's what current team members Raven Bunn and Jackie Lavelle believe track can do to help athletes become more successful. Track is a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of people. And every year, you get a chance to get better so you can make it to state. Um, well, it helps us get stronger and everything for because I play volleyball also. And so it helps us get the endurance to keep up with the other teams. Coming up on the Indian sports calendar, the boys varsity basketball team will play William Christman on, Christman on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. in the Class 5 District 14 tournament at Kearney High School. Come out and support your Indians. That's all we have for you on today's KFOI Daily News. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful Wednesday.